once, dragons and men coexisted. They shared a peace forged in wisdom. A peace that lasted many generations. All that was lost when mankind disrupted. This balance in a sudden onslaught. Man fought dragon in a savage war that shook the foundations of their world. This war was called the Scouring. Defeated and humbled, dragons vanished from the realm. In, the t in time, man rebuilt and separated his domain across the land and on to the islands beyond. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. And we are greeted with Fire Emblem. That is right guys, we are going to be playing Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance here. Um, yes, so uh, <laughs> uh, what I have to say about this game is, I can honestly say, this may be my favorite game of all time. Uh, if, if it's not one of them, it's definitely up there. So, um, yes, what we are going to be doing today is uh, starting the prologue and creating our character. So we are a tactician. Basically what it's saying is uh, you, they want us to enter the information uh, required here, so I am going to do that, and of course, as per usual, I'm going to be naming myself K-Man, and uh, I'm gonna take this time to explain how much I really love this game, and yeah, my birth month is August, and I'm a male, uh, yes. Um, this game is, uh, in my opinion, probably the best game, uh, from my, uh, <laughs> Just from that I've played a bunch of times. I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just that good. I, I can't explain it. It's that good. Alright, but uh, the only problem I have with this game is the loads of dialogue, which you guys will see. But anyway. Are you awake? I found you unconscious on the plains. Oh, you did, huh? Uh, I am Lin of the Lorca tribe. You're safe now. Who are you? Can you remember your name? Your name is K-Man? What an odd-sounding name. But pay me no mind. It is a good name. I see by your attire that you are a traveler. What brings you to the Sake Plains? Would you share your story with me? Hmm? What's that noise? I'll go see what's happening. K-Man, wait here for me. Oh, big overworld. Um... Oh, no! Bandits! They must have come down from the burned mountains. They must be planning on raiding the local villages. I... I have to stop them! If that's all of them, I think I can handle them on my own. You'll be safe in here, K-Man. What? You want help? Well, can you use a weapon? Ah, I see. So you're a strategist by trade. An odd profession, but very well. We'll go together. And, uh, this is the introduction chapter. Yay, I hate these things. Over here! If you want to help, K-Man, I could use your advice. I'll protect you, so stay close to me. Unit information. Lin is the blue unit, the enemy is red. K-Man, you are green. Uh, basically what it's saying here is, um, your job as the strategist is to take your team, the blue team, and attack the red team, and ultimate, ultimately, uh, get the objective, which will be in the top right corner. So we need to seize this gate here. And to do that, we have to take out both of these bandits. So what we're gonna do is Lin, so we're gonna wanna click on her and move her closer to the selected area. Now, the first couple chapters in this game get way too annoying because it's basically just tutorial. You can't mess up. You're you're pretty much forced to go one way. And uh, you, I don't think you couldn't mess up if you tried. So uh, here the bandit moves closer and um, now it's a tutorial on how to fight. You ha All you have to do is just stand adjacent to, uh, to an enemy, and then press the attack button, and then you get to choose your weapon, and this, uh, this screen is actually gonna be very important, this screen is gonna, um, let me explain it here, 
Um, as the uh, as you can see on the right, there's a screen. The HP shows how much HP each unit has. Uh, the MT stands for might, and it shows how much um one attack is going to do. Now let me explain combat in this game. Uh, the person who attacks goes first, and then a person can counterattack with uh, another strike. But um, also if your speed is high enough, you uh, might be able to go twice, or if you have certain weapons, four times. But uh, that's what the times two thing means around seven, that means I'll be able to go twice. The hit is the hit percentage, the uh, percentage accuracy, I guess you could call it. I have 100% accuracy, he only has 39, so he's most likely to hit. And crit stands for critical hit, and uh, uh, that is your percentage. I have a 3%, he has a 0%. Now, uh, the only uh, weapon I could use is my iron sword, so I may as well go and use that there. He is going to miss. I believe this entire chapter is pre-determined anyways, so not too big of a deal. Enemy's turn, he is going to attack now. And uh, he hit me with uh, 10 damage, which is not good, but... Uh, my Counter-Strike is going to be able to take them out. Um, so that's good, I'm able to kill him. Player phase now. Victory! But I have been injured, I am in need of a Vulnerary. Uh, so I can select a Lin here. There's another bandit over by the Gur to the west. You don't know what a Gur is? It's a, it's a type of round hut. Many nomads live in huts like these. Hmm. I wonder, do, I would do well to use this time to administer a little first aid. And it's gonna tell you, uh, this is basically the tutorial on how to use items. Uh, you can move to any space you want and then click the item button from the, uh, menu. And then as you can see here, you can choose any of your items. I'm gonna choose a Vulnerary, because it restores 10 HP, which would be good for me now, because I just lost 10 HP. So now I'm back to full. Bosses don't typically move, so, um, it would be wise to try and heal up as much as you can before. There are some, uh, situations where if you get too close, the boss will approach you. But, uh, not here. So, uh, just move up to an adjacent square to the boss and go ahead and hack away at Mr. Contra. I mean, I, I couldn't tell the first time I saw this guy. I thought he was a mix of one of the Contra brothers and Lieutenant Surge. But, <laughs> maybe that's just me. Who do you think you are? You think you could stand up to Bot of the Beast? Uh, yeah. Yeah, kinda. Because, uh, the game told me I could. So, as you can see here, uh, if he attacks one more time, I am going to die. Which is not good odds. Woo, he's tough. It all comes down to this next blow. Okay, man, if I fall, I want you to flee. You must escape. And his turn, and he attack. And uh, also, if uh, you're standing on a fortress, if you are or the boss is, they will regain health. He misses there, luckily. And uh, I get a critical hit here in my 1% chance, which was totally scripted. What? How? How did you? And, uh, he's dead, and, uh, you also get a bunch of experience for, um, for beating him. Now, I believe this level up is totally scripted, but, um, that was actually an amazing level up. You get, uh, there's actually not a determined, um, stat that increases when you level up in this game. Uh, there's just a percentage that a stat will go up. So, sometimes you can get a good level up, sometimes you can get a bad one. It all depends on what happens. It's all pretty much just luck. Woo, that was close. I sorely underestimated him. Sorry if I worried you. I'll need to be stronger if I'm going to survive. Strong enough that no one can defeat me. And, uh, basically he's just gonna talk about what I just talked about. And he's gonna tell you to, uh, click on Lin and go up to the gate and hit C's, because that will finish the chapter. Good work, K-Man. Let's go home. Alright, we shall go home. Now, um... Uh, something I wanted to explain here. Uh, I'll do it later. Good morning, K-Man. Are you awake yet? I seem to be. That fight yesterday must have taken a lot out of you. Say, K-Man, I want to talk to you about something. You have some experience in the ways of war, I can see. Would you allow me to travel with you? What? You want me to get permission from my parents? My mother and my father died six months ago. My people, the Lorca... They don't... I'm the last of my tribe. Bandits attacked, and they killed so many people. The tribe was scattered. My father was our chieftain, and I wanted to protect our people. But I'm so young, and our people were old-fashioned. They wouldn't follow a woman. No one fo would follow me. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've been alone for so long. No. No more. 
I will shed no more tears. Uh, thank you. I'm better now. Okay, man, I want... I must become stronger so that I may avenge my father's death. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I won't become stronger by sitting here alone. Okay, man, tell me you'll train me. That you'll let me travel with you. You will? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We'll be better off working together. I know it. You'll be my master strategist, and I'll be your peerless warrior. We can do it, right? And that is the end of the prologue. Um, basically, uh, what we learned is now we are traveling with Lin to, uh, just travel, to just go explore the world of awesomeness. So, yes, thank you guys for watching. Um, one thing I wanted to point out that I totally forgot to mention, this is a Fire Emblem game, so yeah, if your person dies in this game, they stay dead for the rest of the story unless they're, they are a certain character, where, uh, if you're a certain character dies, like a lord, to be more specific, but if a certain character dies, then, uh, you would have to restart the chapter because they're not allowed to die, they're too important to the story. So, yes, um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, see you guys next time!